Hello Virgo and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. We're going to get right into your seven day outlook in the area of love. Um, your sister signs Capricorn and Taurus are already uploaded so you can check those out if you want to. And of course this is for anyone who has a sun, moon, rising, Venus or Mars in Virgo. So it's Virgo energy in your chart, right? Um, you could be a Pisces sun and have Virgo energy somewhere in your chart and this will resonate for you. So... Uh, let's get right into it. We're going to take a look at your heart and soul, your mind and body, an essential issue of what's going on for you this next seven days, as well as what energy is helping you along the way or covering you, covering this center focus. A lot of cards flipping. Let's see what comes out. Show me Virgo. Next seven days. All right, Virgo. Let's get into it. At the center, wow, five of cups right away, covered with three of pentacles. Body is eight, six of pentacles. Heart is the emperor. Mind is four of wands. And in your soul, there is a tower moment happening in your area of love. Star energy at the bottom of the deck, right? So getting back to what it is you desire in love. What is your dream in, for love, right? What is your ultimate goal or ideal uh, for what it is you want in love? Now, in interesting, we have some powerful cards here. Tower, we have uh, the 1111 Twin Flame Soulmate card, Four of Wands. So this indicates right away, I'm thinking about um, this is probably a new connection. Four of Wands is Venus and Aries. So it always feels like this is a new connection that's come together. Uh, it can be. Um... The realizing that you are soulmates, right? That beginning part of realizing that you are soulmates. Oftentimes, it's associated with energy of four of wands. So let's get into the center, Virgo. You have a five of cups covered with three of pentacles. So there is some regret and some pain over the past here, right? So the next seven days, you are either going to be very much reminded of something that you went through in the past that was very, very painful for you emotionally with a lover um, or you are just going to be ruminating about it for whatever reason right um, it doesn't necessarily feel just yet uh, well I have to get into the other cards but right away it doesn't necessarily feel like um, there is someone coming in from your past this is just uh, I want to say kind of almost like a, a reminder, right? You're getting some kind of reminder of something that you went through before with a lover that was painful. Three of Pentacles is covering you. So um, right now you're working though, right? And what's helping you through the next, what's going to be helping you certainly through the next seven days, it's just working with people, working, 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 um, getting, you know, getting getting on with it, right, as, as it were, right? You have a lot of projects. It feels to me like this is a Virgo who's got something important that you're doing anyway on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to your employment or your job or how you make your money, right? You may be an artist or you may be somebody who works with, like, the community or something like that. You may work with people in groups. But nevertheless, putting all of your energy into your work over the next seven days and interacting with people on that level where your interactions are good, I feel good interactions there, is going to help you with this difficult energy here, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is an internal power struggle that we have, you know. It's like inside we're going through it, right? We don't want to go through it, but we go through it. We're thinking about it. We're thinking about things we don't really want to think about. And it's, it's an internal power struggle. Ultimately, you're the one who has to kind of bring yourself out of that and decide to, to be hopeful and look forward to those two upright cups. Now, in your mind and body, you have, you're right, in your mind, four of wands and body, you have six of pentacles. So something, you know, somebody is coming into you, it feels like to me. Uh, recently, that... They are sparking feelings of love, perhaps, right? 1111 soulmate, four wands. They're sparking that. And it can be that, to me, Virgo, it almost feels like that this five of cups here is a fear, right, of, of the past rearing its ugly head again. So you're feeling strong and passionate about something, about someone. You have a strong connection. 
And six of pentacles in your body, you are being right now, here we go. It could also be that you're being, being very generous with your time, you're being very generous with your body, being generous with your money, right? In this love connection. And yet, you have this five of cups here that it's just, it's heavy. It feels heavy. And again, you know, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the reminder. And so it could be, Virgo, that you're still struggling with the pain. You're still struggling with sort of the after effects of having your heart broken in the past. And yet and still, although some something is new and beautiful is coming in for you here, four of wands, someone who could really be a soulmate to you, um, you are immediately also being very generous with your time. Down here, six of pentacles, right? Um, that it feels like you're scared, right? Whatever that heartache is, and it could be, Virgo, that you are automatically generous right away when you fall for somebody or you fall in love with somebody. And it could be that it is in that area that you get hurt. Um, either way, you, you, are, you are worried. You're worried and you're really being reminded. And it, right now, it could be that you, uh, you want to be careful of self-sabotage or letting that past sort of pain leak into this present moment, which for all intents and purposes doesn't feel like it has anything to do with this, right? In your heart and soul, heart and soul, the emperor and the tower, wow. So this person, I feel like the emperor, the strong, front, divine, masculine energy coming in. Um, this could be the person, I feel like this may be the person who's coming into you right now. They are representing the emperor. They are someone who is fiery, who goes after what they want. They can be quite domineering. Um, and you love that about them, I want to say, right? I want to say that you are also feeling very enamored by them. You're feeling very sort of, wow, you know. Can also be the shadow side of the emperor can be very dark. Okay, a dark emperor can be very, very difficult, be violent, difficult to communicate with, difficult to, you know, unsuccessful, you know. Um, and so you have a tower moment in your spirit and there is a wake up here. So again, feeling very much like to me, Virgo, this strong emperor energy has come in for you. And you're loving it, right? But you are reminded of a pain in the past and this tower in your spirit. I feel like you're having to really wake up to um, maybe some things you've hold, held on to, right? A tower moment is very, very difficult. A lot of people are like, tower moments, oh my God, you know. But ultimately, a tower moment is all about healing. It's about, it's about breaking down uh, beliefs and ideas and, and toppling sort of a structure that you've held on to that oftentimes isolates you, right? That oftentimes keeps you from your ultimate goals. And so divine intervention comes in because it needs to break down. You need to be broken out of that tower so that you can rebuild, right? Broader, bigger, more expansive so that you can have this uh, eye-opening moment, mind-blowing moment, this epiphany, right? The tower is all about epiphanies, you know? So five of cups. I think what's going to happen is that in this situation, Virgo, I'm going to get some clarity, but it feels to me like although you're feeling very strong pain, you are having a tower moment coming up in the next seven days that is going to help you uh, get over that pain because I don't necessarily feel that this emperor who's come into you is dark. But I do feel like you may have dealt with something like a shadow side of an emperor before, a personality. Show me some clarity for my lovely Virg, uh, Virgos. Show me. Let's see what the clarity is. All right. Hermit. Interesting. Emperor comes out on emperor. So there you go. Four of swords comes out on the four of wands. And a high priestess. So there it is. You be, you know, take your time, pull back, take your time, get the information that you need to get. Four swords, right? 
emperor comes out over emperor. So I definitely believe, Virgo, that you've dealt with an emperor before, but it perhaps before it, it was the dark side, right? It was somebody who was just uh, all the dark, like I described, all the, you know, they may have been very aggressive. They may have even been violent. You know, it may have been an abusive situation even, right? Um, the person may have not, you know, they may have come on like, having that strong sort of powerful uh, energy and turned out to be nothing but an energy sucker and unable to accomplish anything on their own. So, but now you have a new emperor coming in. So strong, this strong, strong, strong energy. And also physically right now, it's interesting Hermit is there. So yeah, you've gone through a period perhaps of not being with someone for quite some time. You may have really been on your own for a while, right? Virgo, and you're coming out of that period right now, um, especially with that Six of Pentacles. It's interesting because Six of Pentacles is charity. It's taking care of people. You have that Three of Pentacles there too. It makes me feel like, Virgo, that you've also been physically very busy with helping community, helping people. Whatever work it is that you do is probably some kind of work like that. It involves people. It involves helping. It involves sharing. It involves giving of yourself, right? Um, and this is very strong, powerful energy. And you're used to also, while you're doing that in that area, I think that you've also been used to, at the same time, being very much uh, in solitude and on your own when it came to the area of personal love and connection. And yet now a connection is coming in and you're worried, you're scared. Because perhaps it could have even been that the very last connection was bad, right? Was the one that was toxic and you've, you've probably worked very hard to come out of it. The lesson, well, the lesson or I want to say the clarity here with Four of Swords and High Priestess is that for you, what you need to do certainly over this, this next period of time is really pull back, right? Pull back you know, and think about things. Think about how you're going to move in this relationship. What moves will you make? How will you respond, right? Four of Swords is truce. It's calling a truce. It's being strategic. It's meditating on your next move, right? And I think here, when it comes to love, that's, that's the wisest thing for you to do. Right. Especially if you've been in a difficult situation before and you're, you're, you know, you're still healing from that. But healing doesn't mean you forget. You, you also gain wisdom when you heal from traumatic relationships. And that wisdom is supposed to be applied to the next relationship. And usually how it's, you know, the best way it should be applied is for you to be thoughtful and to be present and to remind yourself of, you know, where you may have went wrong in the past and not to repeat, and certainly not to repeat the same mistakes. We always make mistakes, but we want to try to not make the same mistakes, right, over and over. And so this is going to be crucial over this next seven-day period for you, Virgo, in terms of really maintaining your power and your stability and not giving anything away that you've worked very hard for. And while at the same time, really, really digging into your high priestess energy in as much as your intuition, tapping into that intuition um, really uh, using your own sort of wisdom and feeling and intuitive ability to help you come at the right, at the right uh, choice. The High Priestess is the keeper of secrets. She's also the keeper of knowledge. And she doesn't give it to you, you know. She, just, she is a reminder of how you go about getting it. You know, how you go about finding out the secrets of life and the secrets of yourself and who you are. All of these things, right? So many people, they, they want to be told these things, right? Or they want to be shown sort of what is the trick or, the, you know, and the high priestess very much speaks to that journey of uh, you, you, you find out your best secrets and the best knowledge about yourself by going within, right? By going within by trusting your intu intuitive voice, by trusting yourself, while at the same time, of course, using the wisdom of what you've learned in the past. But it's about really being in touch with who you are and not doubting yourself, right? High intuitive ability, or at least being willing to connect with your intuitive ability is also 
um, also increases your self-confidence, right? Which is why the high priestess is also associated with self-confidence, right? Because as you learn to listen to yourself, you then get reaffirmation that what you, you know, that listening to your own voice is, was right. And then that increases your self-esteem and self-confidence, and it just reverberates there. So, interesting reading. Virgo, I'm going to leave it at that. This is a strong reading for a Virgo who's really coming into a relationship, a new relationship that may be worrying them very, very much because there are signs or there are fears there of similarities with the past. But, you know, just take your time. There will be a tire moment coming and a, sh a watershed of information coming to you and enlightenment and, an, and very much an epiphany coming out of all of this. And whatever that is, it will be separate for each Virgo. It'll be specific for you. And again, High Priestess lets you know that. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you got some clarity out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And that's all I ask for at the end of my videos. And for right now, I'm going to say, Virgo, have a great week. And please do check me out on the weekend for your Twin Flame reading, possibly your Twin Flame Shadow reading. And if not, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye now.